super cool day. We have two new things for you. One is I have a brand new camera to do the vlogging YouTube thing. So let us know how this thing works out. It's a new Sony ZV-1. I might do a review on it. But the next thing is I have this very, very fancy vehicle, the actual SEX-10 III Jeep Gladiator JT. Hope I said that right. So we're gonna do an unboxing, tell you all the details, and tomorrow maybe I can go out for a crawl. So here we go. I don't do too many unboxings, not too good at it. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. Ready to run? 500 and something dollars. I, uh, 530. I know the non gladiator is 500 bucks, so this is a little more because you get a little more. But in in the gene pool, they're very similar, like Siamese twins and got separated at birth. And but what is unique about this is it is a four door and it's a pickup, just like the gladiator, huh? So cool. So let's uh, let's get rid of the plastic the plastic is pretty nice it's like a little heavy little plastic not just your run of the mill saran wrap that we see in some vehicles Ooh, it's covering the rear window too making it extra difficult for me and it was bolted on with the pickup rack so i have to rip it off Boom, boom. So here you go. There's that. And here it is. Look at this thing. So it's available in red and I believe, is that gray? And of course you gotta go for the red. But it is so nice. You know, probably the best thing about this vehicle is these vehicles are the bodies. And on the Gladiator, they one-upped it by making an even better body. Very long wheelbase. And you know they have a pickup pickup bed with a nice pickup rack ready for your overlanding adventures. What's cool about it too is they have a, a very deep pickup bed. And I, I'm not sure if the Gladiator comes like this, box stock, but this is the reason for this is this is where your window line ends and this is where you put your accessories. You know, your your bike, bike maybe surfboard, but my Really what you want to put is your rooftop tent. Whether you like to rooftop tent or not, you gotta put a rooftop tent here. Perfect height, not too high, and doesn't obstruct your rear view. But best of all worlds, basically. Uh, you get your pickup truck, you get your four-door family, family, pickup, bikes, surfboards, stand-up paddleboard. Not bad, huh? So there it is. It is stunning. Portal axles on this vehicle. 4.7 inch tires comes with lights rear lights hopefully and then one of the really cool things is there's no body posts on the body they are underneath here So this connector is standard spectrum now. This is the EC3 or IC3. And what makes it unique is it's got the middle wire that gives you the smarts for your transmitter. So now let's get the transmitter right here. Boom. So this transmitter is, what is it called? Spectrum DX3 and it's much much of an improvement over the STX transmitter. So a lot more smarts, you get your battery level here, a lot, lot better controls, touch, sur touch surfaces, and you got a third channel here. And you got even got your one-handed controlling so you can be vlogging at the same time. So it has, it is a three channel radio, three channel radio, but it's a four channel car. So what they had to do was 
eliminate one channel or or forego of one channel and in this case what they did was the the two-speed transmission so they said no two-speed for you if you want two speed you need to get a, another radio uh, and that's quite difficult so unfortunate but in the in the big picture it's not the end of the world because their two speed is not that good so instead of a top speed of uh, it's only 1.5 miles an hour 1.5 times first gear so sec uh, so first gear if six theoretically if first gear is six miles an hour second gear is nine miles an hour so a little bit of a bump but it's not more than twice the speed okay so what they have what they chose to do is the dig and the dig is more interesting it's a little more fun the dig is really more a competition device so you could lock the front the rear wheels and pivot on a dime you can position yourself and whatnot on a trail truck it's not you don't really hear of anybody putting a dig on on a trail truck because it's not really not really doesn't give you that much of an advantage that you don't compete with a trail truck so to speak uh, but it's a nice it's a nice thing to play with and in a vehicle this long uh, the, the the what's your wheelbase your wheelbase is 13.9 inches or 353 millimeters in a vehicle with a wheelbase this long your steering radius will suffer that's for dang sure um, so uh, the dig will allow you to to close that off, to, to, to make that tighter, reposition your vehicle in different ways. Okay, so that's what's going on. So what, so 13.9 inch wheelbase is long because most of these vehicles here are 12.3 with the exception of the Land Rover Defender and the Land Rover Defender is 12.8. And so what does a long wheelbase do? What it really does is it, it gives you realism. You know, if they made this 12.3, this body's not gonna look right. I believe ProLine or someone else has that body, so they have to shrink and mess up the proportions because they're putting a long vehicle in a short wheelbase. So this looks period correct. I'm not sure if they had to go 39, I'm not sure what the reasons are, but all they really did was made this super long, you know, put this way out there. And so how does that change the dynamics of the vehicle? So when you have a short wheelbase, the, uh, it's, it's harder to, to get up and over stuff, but you are right here, you're always, your wheels are more often on the ground. It's less likely that you get hung up on the belly, you know, especially as you're going over something. You, know, you usually have contact with, with uh, the ground, either the rear or the front. When you make the long, wheelbase longer, uh, you, ex you increase your chances of having stuck on your belly. So, so it's more important that you have uh, high clearance links, that you have portal axles, um, you know, so, you don't, so you, there's less chances of getting hung up. And this indeed has portal axles. A couple other things this thing has, a battery on the rear. And on the side, the rear uh, allows you a bigger size. The side allows you to put uh, a small battery, but a little more forward biases. Bias wheel wells, inner wheel wells, but it has space for lights. Uh, probably want to cover these holes because there's no lights available really at the moment. The it has a full engine cover for realism. Very cool. Except you can't really open the hood. Usually, when you have that, you're able to open the hood. Uh, transmission that's very heavy duty, a little lower to the ground, two speed in here, and dig. A lot of technology went in this little transmission. So the other thing, uh, obviously there's a third channel, and that's the dig right here, and that's activated by this handy dandy transmitter, a momentary button. So it's, it's, it's only active as, as long as you press it, so that's very convenient. And it's perfectly adjusted for their dig unit, we have uh, lights here, and then we have the the new Spectrum Smart receiver, and this one is a an ESC and receiver built into one. So it's a little bit of 
a departure from what the modularity or the separation that most companies are going with, but they did it so your your battery can talk to your transmitter. It'll talk to the receiver and it'll talk to the transmitter and you can see how much battery you have left. And it opens up the potential for other integration like that. Is it good for everyone? Not really. Not for the enthusiast because now um, usually you'll have your own radio anyway. You, you, you want to have your own ESC that you can control or your own receiver. Very hard now to change your radio. You have a Futaba or a Flysky, very difficult to put this here because you'll have to replace the receiver and the ESC all in one. If you wanted to go brushless, that's a problem. So this vehicle is best left alone. <laughs> the electronics, so to speak. The good news is the radio is pretty dang good and the ESC in here, which is a huge problem with RTR cars, is pretty good. Uh, it's a Hobbywing 1080 clone and it has about a dozen uh, parameters of configuration. The, the normal 1080 has, has maybe 13, 14, this, so this misses a couple. You can't change the voltage uh, driving your, your, your servo, but everything else, a lot of the other things you have. And this is a very, very good ESC. Uh, Spectrum doesn't tell you, doesn't give you the programming card, um, but you could probably ask your buddy for one because every time you buy a Hobbywing 1080 ESC, they give you a card and that card will work here. And I'll have a video showing you that. So, what else is going on here? Nice long sliders, uninterrupted at the bottom. Uh, bumpers are very, very well done. Quite, quite out of the way. And let's see the shock oil. So it looks about the same. It's uh, they, they they spec 30. It's a little it was a little bit light for me for the SCX 3 I like. Uh, Especially the rear, you want you want to stabilize that 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 body with uh, a lot of shock oil. But there you go, nice articulation, everything fits. Uh, steering uh, is very good on this vehicle, uh, especially with the dig. And what else? It has a, a pretty good servo, I believe. Uh, 160 ounce inch servo uh, spectrum 23 teeth on the spline but it has a metal gear on the arm so that's very good and a lot one thing really good is a lot of because they're actual and the SCX 10 3 kit and RTR have been around a while there's a lot of upgrade parts for this available now so you can change the and I have a ton of them on, on the table right there so you can change your axle covers um, you can change this change this to metal so a lot of things can be done with this vehicle so am I missing anything so we're gonna run it box stock but one thing cool with this thing is the body is not that heavy for as big as it is one thing cool with this thing is Uh, it has an interior, but it doesn't have the roll cage inside. That was one of my pet peeves on the SEX-103 was it had a roll cage inside, but you, you couldn't really use it because you couldn't see, I mean, you couldn't see it. Um, so what's the point of having something if you can't see it? So check this out. Part of my, uh, part of the power of my camera is I can go for a wider angle, go for, go zoom in. Hmm. Fancy camera, huh? It's a Sony ZV-1 and you could control it with your, with your phone. So let me go wide and there's a reason why I want to go wide. Well, check this out. When a lot of these cameras, the autofocus is awful, and this is probably why I got this camera, is when you do this, showing product, it'll focus on the product and not my face. Face, product, face, product. 
So hopefully I get to show you guys some product. And speaking of product, this is what it comes with on the, um, oh, this is cool, kinda. Uh, in the box is batteries, gives you double A's, that's just so you can get going right away. And it has a receiver box in case you wanna use your own receiver. Tiny little receiver box though. Okay, so the next thing I want to show you before I come to a close is this vehicle. Boom. Doesn't even fit, huh? Bummer. Can I go wider? Wider, wider, wider. Wider. Wider, wider. Wider. There you go. It's pretty wide. Okay. So, so here is your your Gladiator with a 13.9 inch wheelbase, and here is your Defender with the what wheelbase? 12.8 inch wheelbase. So this is higher. This is a little chunkier. Hood line is about the same. Whoa. Heavy shock oil. Um, and as far as the length is concerned, I don't know. I don't know how I want to do this. So I got like a weird bumper going in here. Boom. Oh, but the camera cuts it off. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one on top of each other. There's a wheel, there's a way, right? So this is what's going to be cool. Is I'm going to have a shootout between the SEX-103 and the Defender. Ah! Very nice discovery. So what's going on is the wheelbase of the Gladiator is definitely longer uh, and it's a longer vehicle but because the Defender has the spare tire, fuel tanks and whatnot, um, they balance out around equal. Okay, so, so we're gonna have a shootout between these two. Put your boats in now. Um, Uh, but I, I do have a stock, a box stock version of, of this. Yeah, I don't wanna, it's a little bit upgraded. I'm not sure with what, overdrive or something. Uh, so box stock to box stock defender. Box stock gladiator, box stock defender. Who's gonna win? That'd be pretty cool. So the box stock's over there. But the other thing I'm gonna do is, oh, it's up there. Is I have a box stock, I have a lot of these little cars is I have a box off ready to run SCX-103 and we're gonna do a shootout with the Gladiator okay 